Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the model check and apply the preferences automatically. So for example, the you don't need to manually select apply layers, apply parameters or set additional preferences to the model. So example, you remember that in the last video tutorial I have shown you that if you have a 3D model and the 3D model has, for example, not renamed the datum planes or missing relation or parameters. You can prepare the model check configuration and run. I'm using my, uh, my custom map key for the model check, so you don't need to select always five and click two, three times to select the model check. After selecting the map key, the system will show you the report for model check. And you can see here right now that if I use the manual placement or modification of the missing and errors on warnings by model check, I have to select and for example, add relation or add missing parameters and so on. And then if you will create some datum planes or datum feature, for example, sketch, points and so on. You need to run model check one more time and again select preferences and set to the model. The question from you was if it is possible to do it somehow automatically. The system will automatically recognize that some relation is necessary to add and the system will automatically add necessary relations and parameters for example. Yeah, so right now you have seen the example that I have to select always model check and then manually select the button add relation, add parameters, change, apply and so on. Yes, of course, it is possible, but you have to close Creo session and change some file. I will close the Creo and you know from previous tutorial that we have been spoken about the uh, configuration files for model check. The configuration files, config init mc, if I will open, for example, in notepad, you can see that over here is the preferences, how the system will run, which mode the model check will run, or where the report will be stored for the model check, and so on and so on. But in this example, what right now I'm using, I do not have model update applied. What does it mean? I have prepared for me the separate file over here. You can see that over here it's the parameter MU enabled and is set up to yes. And then if you will check the additional parameters, for example, if you would like to automatically update the skeleton. Yes, so you can see here that is model update skeleton, yes or no. Or if you would like to update the sheet metal part. So what does it mean if you will create a sheet metal or if you will convert 3D model to sheet metal and then you will run the model check. If the model update, automatic update will be applied to the model and so on. So please download these preferences or modify by you manually and please check all necessary model updates parameters. Yeah, for example, update interchange assembly. For now, I do not use the interchange assembly, so I don't need to use these preferences to yes, and so on. One note, I have checked these preferences and for example, here you can see MU regenerate, I set to no. I have tested a couple of times and I have found that if I said yes, the system will always regenerate 3D model and assemblies. And what does it mean? You can try by yourself to set up yes and no. Yeah, and, and be careful, you have to always turn off the Creo, change the parameters and run Creo one more time. So, but explanation, if the MU regenerate is set to yes, the system will always regenerate a 3D model or assembly and then you need to spend, for example, more than 15 seconds, maybe 30, and I don't want to wait. Yeah, so I run re regeneration manually if I really need. Okay, so I will 
copy all these preferences from source file to config init file yeah save and close and we can run Creo one more time. What does it mean? Well, the system start, the system read configuration files, the system will read the model check configuration files too. So I will open the model as last time, yeah? And right now, I only would like to show you that relation doesn't exist and the parameter doesn't exist. Yeah, what I need. And for example, the layers are not here, and so on and so on. I can add some additional feature, for example, datum plane, and will be for section A, so I'll be use AA, and then for example, some sketch here. Only that I'd like to see how the system will place the information into layer by a model check. Yeah? Okay. What I have set up, you can check in the previous tutorial and you have seen and understand how the system will create necessary information. Good. Right now, I'd like to show you how to run model check automatically. You can use the map key to run model check or select manually, doesn't matter. If I will select file prepare and model check, for example, interactive or regenerate, depends what you would like to use, if you would like to regenerate model or not. So. You can see that system run model check and over here you can see for example that model update has been added and the relation has been added and for example some parameters and over here in the information window you see that layer place has been updated missing relation missing parameters and so on so you can check it but not necessary yeah? everything is gr green everything is fine Maybe I have some errors here, so we need to check the errors. Okay, model name errors is fine because I need to check my model name and I, I, it's not possible to change name automatically. And what about the warnings? Okay, one warning is here. You can see the date on rename specification. What does it mean? For now, I didn't found a way how to rename the date and feature. So for this one, I use the manual placement and the system will change it but it's not so bad because like you see everything is possible to do automatically it's working for layer place layer status missing relation missing parameters and so on and so on so if you will check the layer tree right now the system automatically create for me the necessary layers what i use by config profile and the system will automatically place the and apply the visualization if you will run model check one more time the system will go through the existing layers and place the object to the current layers so layer place is activated and why okay first of all you need to think about that system need to create layers and then in the second step the system are possible to place the object into layer. So if I use the map key for daily use, I run model check two times at the background and the system will create relation, add relation, apply parameters, create layer, and in the second model check behind of the map key, the system automatically place object into current layers. So in the one click, the system will check 3D model and it's really, really fast. I hope so. Did you like this video tutorial? So do not forget to change preferences model update in your model check. Thank you very much. Stay tuned and bye bye. Vladimir.